It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites to the online stores, the marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile, and it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now, let's start the show. Oh, Andrew Schultz is here, of course. Uh, Wax is here, of course. Uh, Taylor Gang is here, fresh off vacation. Uh, Ivy Rivera is here, fresh off vacation. Oof. Uh, what's that mean? That's like like a reaction. Oh, oof. No, I yes. saw I saw a sweatsuit. Somebody actually sent me a sweatsuit that said oof, so I didn't know if that was some new young shit. I think I, I texted that to you, and you was like, what does that mean? I was like, it's a sound effect. You gotta <laughs> ask nowadays. Oof. You just don't know nowadays. So what that mean? <laughs> that sounds like you ate too much. Oof. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a reaction. <laughs> I see little Latinx is over there with uh, Hezzy. Hezzy, how have you been? How was your last uh, couple weeks? Yo, life is good. It Big is. Big announcement. I got a big hey. announcement, Sharla. Blessings, blessings. You want to do it now? You want to do it during church announcements or you want to let it rip now? Well, let's let it rip now while everybody's paying go, attention go for some go other ahead. shit. Let's you know? go. Okay. Um, Big announcement. I will be the producer of the new Rory and Maul podcast. <laughs> Congratulations I am the producer of the new Rory and Maul podcast Coming to the White Effect Network We started a new We started a new Podcast network called the White Effect Network For strong white voices And I wasn't I wasn't sure I wasn't sure That about I'll be honest I was, I was sure about Rory I thought that he could be a strong white voice um, yeah. you know what I mean? And just take awkward sips out of his red cup. But I felt that they, he needed somebody to be like mixed up with. And then when I, I listened to the podcast that they recorded at WTF Media Studios, the two buck. That was a pilot. That was a pilot episode. When I listened okay. to that pilot episode and at first I was skeptical of Maul. I was like, this guy, he doesn't sound because I wanted a white male voice and I wanted a white female voice for this podcast to Jeez. really be the cornerstone of the White Effect Network. And okay. I need a strong female <laughs> voice. And I didn't think that Maul could be that strong white female voice. But when he said, um, my aura is beautiful, I was like, that's the guy. That is the guy. <laughs> that is the white woman I need. That, you can be the Caitlyn Jenner of podcasting. You can do it. When he said, my aura is beautiful, I said, you, 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 you capture my heart. He captured my heart in that very moment. He captured my heart in that very moment. And and that's it. There that is going to be that's going to be my first podcast. We're looking for other podcasts. You know what I mean? Um okay. so I don't okay. know if uh, okay. see the thing is is broken up yet, but we're willing to do something with y'all as well. And um and that's just how things move. <laughs> well, I wish you much success at the White Effect uh podcast that's network. Amazing. Yeah, I wish you much 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 success. I yes. you can do it. <laughs> I'm looking I mean yeah. like I think we can I think if you put your money behind something and I think you put your passion behind something and I think if the time is right in history and you get the right voices you know what I mean I, j I just want powerful is, is, strong is, 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 white voices is white there, female voices is there, long, is there longevity in that is there longevity in, in, in that podcast <laughs> I don't know I'm asking because I, I don't know I, I don't know if some things are, are, are for the moment you know because of you know the, the situations that are that are around it is oh, there longevity in that oh, podcast oh. Oh, 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 that's a good question. Will people listen to it? I don't, I mean, did you listen to it? Um, I listened to bits and pieces. Yeah, I listened to bits and pieces because people were sending me, uh, sending me things. Like they sent me pieces where I was being spoken about. Right. Yeah. yeah um, which I just, you know, I, which I just thought was strange because it's like, you know, I lead with love, right? So if you lead with love and you show somebody love, I don't understand why that person would turn around and start hating, you know, and then bring you up later to reference you showing them love. It's just strange, but, you know, people do strange things, man. God bless everybody. I wish everybody the best. 
when you launched yeah. the first episode? Um, that's the thing is, that's the thing. It's, uh, I'm not going to launch any episodes. <laughs> 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 I, for the, for the good of the public, the I'm you know never going to allow you, oh, you, you know what you would have, you should have said, see, the thing is, I'm not going to launch any see, episodes. <laughs> I missed it. Missed the opportunity. Shelf, but but no, life. I tried listening Shelf to life. their episode. I tried listening to their episode. And for the good of the public, I think what we'll do is record episodes with them, but just never release them. So nobody has to be that bored for an extended period of time. Damn. I tried Jesus. to watch it. I tried to listen to it. And uh, and yeah, I mean, like, they just don't got it, man. They just don't got it. I mean... Yeah. I wish I wish everybody yeah. the best, man. And you know why I wish everybody. You know why I wish everybody the best, Schultz. I send I send I send positive healing energy to everybody. You know why? Why? Because I want my aura to always be beautiful, man. And I want my energy to always be pure, man. That's mm -hmm. it. You know what I mean? That's what it's about. I wish him. I, I absolutely positively wish him the best. I just think it's strange, man. You Bro, know how I like. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Hmm? Outside of that, I know we want positive energy to everybody, whatever. But you got to admit, there's a couple times that were fucking hysterical. Like you get these clips, and like there's just moments that were just so hysterical in it. You didn't laugh. Break it down for me. Break it down for me. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't see the whole thing. Break it down for yeah, me. Neither. When there, I didn't see the whole thing either. I tried to watch some pieces, and then I had Alex give me like a breakdown because it was shot at the beautiful WTF Media Studios. Oh, like, amazing! So that looked. means that that means Schultz had a uh, an advanced copy. <laughs> hey, don't, don't act like hey, don't act like y'all wasn't he had the original. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, don't act like y'all wasn't in Miami watching that like this Minister Society tape <laughs> when, when old dog shot them. Uh, in the theater room. Exactly. And old, old dog shot the uh, the people in the convenience store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just thought there was a hilarious part where uh, they're talking about how everybody told them that, um, uh, what's the guy's name? What the fuck is his name? Who? The Jonathan? guy who runs the fucking network. I have no idea. John. Oh. John is his name? Ian. <laughs> Ian. Ian. <laughs> the rap, the guy who used to rap. The fuck is his name? Jonathan. Jonathan? Jonathan. Jacob? <laughs> Peter, was it? Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. I don't know, but whatever. Bro. That guy that used to, the guy that used to rap that did the podcast or whatever, he, they, they're talking, um, Rory and Maul are talking about him and like, and they're like, man, everybody told us that, you know, he's going to rip you off. Everybody told us he's going to do you dirty. <laughs> it's not funny. But, but it's then, cool. and, but then Rory and Maul are like, they're like, but he was our friend. He, we never thought that he would do that to us, you know. And it's just like yeah, that, that's that's that, that's exactly how everybody in the Trump administration sounds. Yep. That's you know that's I mean? everybody in Trump you, administration. You, snake is a snake. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like you stand that when you when you when you stand next to somebody and you co-sign them when things are good. Yeah, and then right. when you, I, here's the thing, and I, I say this all the time: if you want to see how somebody's going to treat you, just watch how they treat other people. Period. Mm. Eventually, it's going to be your turn. It's going to you. Eventually, oh. it's going to be your turn. Like mm. it's not, it's not even rocket science. There's no need to act like it's some uh, complicated math problem here. Yeah. Mm. If you want to see how somebody's going to treat you, just eventually, just watch how they treat other people. Eventually, it's going to be your turn. Yeah. Crack yeah. Yeah. Simple as that. I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, listen, I don't know. It's, it was just, it was a sad like moment. I actually kind of felt bad because I'm watching these two guys and they just like looking in the camera and they're just like, I thought, I thought he loved me. Oh my God. No. <laughs> I thought he loved I thought, me. I thought he loved me. I, I thought it was going to be different with me. I thought, I thought he really, I thought he told me it would be different. He told me I wasn't like them other ones. He told me I was unique. He told me I was special. He said I was special. But then he didn't oh. treat me special. Uh, hey, bro, you sound like you got a hold of a Tyler Perry script. It, it yeah. felt like it. I felt so bad. I want to give him a hug. I want to give them oh a hug because God. they were hurt. Their hearts were hurt. Mm. He listen. Mm. He listen. He said. He said he loved them. Mm. Ouch. He said he loved mm. them. It's kind of their fault, though. If you want to see how Literally. somebody's going to treat yeah. you, 
Just watch how they treat other people. Eventually, it's going to be your After turn. And that's why you. I tell anybody, man, you know, you think that, you know, you're around somebody and they're doing everybody dirty. If you're not checking that individual, and I'm not even speaking about that particular situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just peace. saying in general, if you're not checking that individual, what if, what makes you think that it's not eventually going to happen coming, to you? Baby, mm-hmm. I've seen it happen yeah. a million times. Mm-hmm. A million yeah. times. That's, yo, that's, how, that's how a Wendy Williams husband is. Yep. Yeah. Kelvin Hunter. That's, that's it's like, yo, you you watch him do everybody dirty. What so made me think one day. it wouldn't be my turn at some point? What made yeah. me think I was different? Yeah, Listen, he said man, he love you. Hey, you know, that's that's just the truth to the matter. <laughs> like, literally, but that's, that's the what it thing. is. It's like, you underestimate it. Like, what the fuck is his name, yo? <laughs> what the Jonathan. fuck is his name? What? Jonathan. Jonathan, what? You underestimate, like, how how he's probably super romantic, bro. Like, <laughs> like, wait, nah, like, nah, like, you gotta understand. Like, if you could convince two dudes, like New York dudes, like that, if you got two, I, I'm from New yes. York, right? So it's like I'm born and raised in New York, you know. So it's like the way you gotta tell me you love me, where like no matter what anybody else says, it doesn't matter. Like you gotta look into a man's eyes and be like, yo, I love you, bro. Like during mm. during yoga. During yoga, mm. like the right music playing, yeah. like it's gotta be special, bro. Zen. Mm. Zen that's that's zen you gotta put that behind Patreon, bro. Like I, I need a Patreon <laughs> oh <my> exclusive. <laughs> I need a Patreon exclusive. I love you, bro. Like just that. Just, just, just say I love you, Patreon. I gotta feel what that is like, cause that's that's next level, bro. Oh my that's, god, that's kind of fucked up though. They somebody need to fuck them up though. Out of them two, somebody need to just give them like a couple of thirty seconds or do one of them Jake Paul fights or something like that. Somebody oh he owes somebody thirty seconds, bro. For what? Yeah, for I know lo- it, for love, I j- bro. Yeah. It sounds like it sounds like big manipulation to me. Talk to me, Ivy. What you feel? Like just from what I'm hearing, what I'm gathering, um, there you use the the I love you to get what you want, mm. and then when you finish with whatever accomplishments that need to be made, you're like, okay, women have been doing that to you later. for years though. Ooh. Yeah, but we're not talking about mm. that. We're talking about this specific situation. <laughs> it was it was really black and white. Yeah, <laughs> it was really black and white. We seemed to come out there. I shouldn't have threw that out there, but you know, it's what happened. Yeah, it was a situation where it became what's love got to do with it. Mm. Yeah, Literally. I mean, because yeah, because there's there's no there's no permanent friends or enemies mm. when it comes to business. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know what I mean. Um, but you know, I'm, I, I, I'm going to have respect though, bro. You got to have respect, man. Like that's, 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 I saw, I saw Kevin Hart, you know, speaking on the situation and I thought Please. what Kevin said was very, very true. It literally, it literally just comes down to, you know, poor leadership skills, mm. but everybody, everybody's. I actually was a supporter of the progression of him and his podcast from afar to see you publicly shit on the guys that was with you. That's an example of poor leadership. That's an example of why you are where you are. Here's the answer. Point blank. You want to be by yourself. You want to be King Dingling. Oh. You can't do that. You can't do that. Wealth should be shared, not owned. Facts. So this is a shout out, man, to Rory and Maul. You guys were dope as fuck at that job. Once again, I was a fan of the fucking podcast. It's a sad day to see this shit end when you guys were on your way to what seemed to be higher levels of success. I don't sit up here and promote the negativity. Wish there was a world where you could work it out. But you need a good fucking leader that understands it's not just him. I don't think Joe has that. Everybody is as much as you may think you are. Everybody's not built to be a leader because mm. I don't think a yeah. leader is something that I, a leader is not about position. Right. Like I can I can put somebody in a CEO position. I can put somebody in a boss position, mm. but they just may not be built for that position. Mm. You some, know what I mean? Some, some people, people are great followers. Yes. Well, some yes. people are leaders. Some people are lovers like he's a lover. <laughs> like <laughs> two L's. Two what L's. about when you lead with love? Can you lead with love? I think only for so long. You know mm. what I mean? Like eventually, like oh, that's a good point. That's a good point, especially in business, right? Because I could be leading with love, and 
If we're all leading with love in a business and the business is making money, eventually you're going to be like, hey, man, this love is cool, but bruh, love what's up with that money? Yeah. <laughs> but isn't love, 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 love is transparency, mm -hmm. love is direction, yeah. and, and helping to build yeah. something. Yeah. So you can lead with love because there's levels to this shit. Yeah, but not respect. Yeah. But here's the love thing. Love is like, respect. You got to understand the trance that he had these grown men in because- not only would he, not only did he have them so committed and so loved and so loyal, he kept talking about how important transparency was and being there for the creators and supporting the creators. And he had these two grown men that were that loved him so much, that were so deeply in love, they were co-signing the fraudulence that he was saying. Like the, he's like, yo, we got it. Respect oh. creators, pay creators, and full transparency. And they were like, yo, can we get paid? And can you have transparency with the books? And he was like, fuck no. Nah. And then they would go on a podcast the next week, like, yeah, we're about creators. Which that's next level manipulation and next level love. That's well, cold. I mean, listen, like the dude's well, got listen, a talent. That, well, listen, there's no future in front, man. And I mean, yeah, that's no. that's 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 what that's what I don't like. You know what I mean? Like, don't front. Like, don't sit there and act like things are all good if they're not. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if you're going to yeah. get on a, a get in front of a platform and you're going to call other people out on their deals and, you know, you're going to talk about what other people aren't doing in regards to business. Look just make sure you there. got your shit straight. Right. That's all. Don't live in a glass house. So my, my question is, does it fall on A or does it fall on B and C for not? It's like real, paying attention? I, I, say, I say it's dumb because they still under the same numbers as Joe was on. So... What if they had got a big deal because they was on the same numbers and made something happen? Do they have to give Joe it? What if they all got three different big deals? Would they be still trying to get money from Joe? I mean, if you start something together and you build something I'll together, I, I, I think, that. I, yeah, no, I think it all should be broken down equal. Of course. You know what I mean? Like when when we started Brilliant Idiots, how long ago has it been, Show? Shit. It's been so long, man. Chris, Chris Moreau, I got to give my guy Chris Moreau props, man. When Chris came and Chris was like, yo, Charlotte, man, you should start a podcast. I was on some arrogant, egotistical shit. And I'm like, why would I start a podcast when I do radio? Mm. You know what I mean? But luckily, I listened to Chris and I'm like, yo, you know, I'm thinking about people who I wanted to like partner with. I'm like, yo, it was actually between Andrew and this a white woman. Salute to Jesse May Peluso. But, you know, <laughs> what Andrew Her was management like, yeah, fucked that up. Was it? I don't remember what, I don't remember what happened with yeah, that. Yeah, her management said... That uh, they wanted you to do it with her, but not me. Really? Yeah. And then that, that didn't work out. Oh, I don't remember. But Andrew pulled up and me and Andrew been rocking and rolling ever since. And never have I ever looked at this like this is the Charlemagne the God podcast. That's why it's called the Brilliant Idiots. Mm. You know what I mean? From day one, I've always like, yo, let's we, we, we built something together. Like, I don't mm. give up. And by the way, Andrew take Andrew took the business way more serious than I did mm. and, and still does. Mm. But I know that I get checks all the time. Damn right. <laughs> right? And those checks are chunky. Damn right. And I, I, I don't I don't but I don't I'll be, I'll be honest. I all and I always told you from the jump. I was like, listen, man, I'm going to add value to this podcast one day. I promise you. But I understand the immense value that you add to this shit. And if you want no, the splits I felt, to be I different. Felt like like, you, no, I felt like you bought the value to the podcast. Because I guess, I guess this when is I, the thing. This, this, yeah. this is the thing about partnerships, man. Yeah. At the end of the day, what we're talking about before any before anything else, we're talking about is some shit good. Yep. Will some shit be good? Yep. So if two people sit down, it's about talent. Andrew Schultz has been a talented motherfucker. Thank you, sir. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Everything else, you know, it, it, it comes later. But at the end of the day, when you sit down and you build with somebody, it don't matter what your status is, what your financial level is. When y'all sit down and create this thing, mm. is it going to be good? When it mm. comes to talent, man, that's all that matters. Y'all both here when it comes to talent. Unless you're just, mm -hmm. you know, overly talented and you're carrying somebody. But that's never been the case. That's probably what he thought. Yeah, but that's I felt, giving the money. I'll, I'll be honest with you, like, I think I've gotten better at podcasting, but when we first started, you were so fucking much more better at me than that. I mean, this is what you do for a living. And I learned a yeah, lot a from doing it with you, but you were, you know, I'm not trying to toot your own horn here, but like, I just learned a lot about talking to someone without an audience. Like I'm used to talking oh, to people with yeah, an audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. So learning no, how that true. switches and like learning these little things, I learned a lot from you and I think that I've gotten better at it, but but more importantly, I'm also thinking, listen, you're bringing this huge audience to the podcast. I don't have an audience. What can I do to help? How can I fill in the gaps? 
if you're doing all this, bringing the audience, all right, let me make it easier for you. Let me make sure we get the cameras. Let me make sure that we put it up on YouTube so you don't got to worry about none of that. I'll handle some more of the business side. And right, let me try see. to build up my career in stand-up so that maybe I could bring some people over here and start listening to the podcast too. So you're not carrying, doing all the heavy lifting. And, That's interesting that you felt yeah. like that because for me, like I was saying, I felt arrogant, right? I was like, why, why, why would I start a podcast? And one of the main reasons I was afraid to start a podcast, I didn't know motherfuckers would listen. Yeah. I really didn't. Yeah. You know, Breakfast Club is one thing. That's that's like, you know, that's something we started at Power 105. Power 105 is still was still a radio station that already had an audience in New York. This is something starting from scratch mm. with a podcast. But when, when me, you, yeah. and Jazz Fly, you know, God bless the dead, my beautiful yep. sister Jazz, when we sat down and we did that Star Shame episode, and we had like 36,000 at the gate. I was like, oh shit, they give a fuck yeah. about listening to me outside of Breakfast Club. So, you yeah. know, the same way you felt like, oh man, I don't know if we can build an audience. I felt the same exact way. <laughs> you oh know what I'm shit. Saying? But <laughs> the point is, we the point is we built something together. Yeah. I've never, I've never looked at it any other way. I don't give a shit. Like, go, Andrew, do your thing. Run with the business. Like, go get yeah. the fucking advertisers, set the YouTube up. I don't give a shit. Like, do yeah. your thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you got to have transparent. Like, I think we had trust, but we also had transparency. Like, and it's one of those things where, like, we make decisions together. Like, Oof. I don't make any decision Oof. without coming to you and going, yo, do you want to do this? Oof. Is this something Bro, we, that you want to do? Don't do yeah. this shit because it works for me. Is it something you want to do? And we're lucky where I think we kind of trust each other on these types of decisions. Let's talk about that. Okay, that is, go. Because I because 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 I want I want to I want it's bigger lessons in all of these conversations, right? Yeah. You gotta have a team, bro. Yes. Like if you're a person who's been doing, you know, different things in this industry for a long time and every single time, you know, you're in a situation where you get fucked. After a while, you can only point the finger at you and your team. Mm. Who's your agent? Who's your manager? Who are the people around you that you trust? Why is your circle constantly causing you Ooh. To be in these situations where you fucking lose. Yeah. Like, yo, I got the type of people around me that I know I can trust. I can close my eyes and shit going to get done. Mm. Whether it's here at the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, whether it's, whether it's at the Black Effect Podcast Network, whether it's, you know, at, at SBH Productions, me and Kevin Hart's company, whether it's at my, my book imprint, Black Privilege. Like, I, you have to have people around you that can get things done done that literally have your best interest at heart because i promise you man if you keep finding yourself in situations where you feel like you're getting fucked you got to look in the mirror and you got to look at the people around you and you might have to make some changes bro uh -huh. that's it it's about there, teamwork man there has to be that's like the a hardest thing in the goal it has to be like i i love that conversation with, with you and andrew just now because it's like not only are you guys existing in this podcast, but you guys work as a team. There's transparency with ideas and how you can make your own identity mm -hmm. and shine on your own without being a background singer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That energy needs to be spilled everywhere yeah. on, on all levels of all things. Yeah. And I mean, listen, to another point Andrew made, like, yo, Andrew, we've been doing this podcast for seven years. Andrew, he put himself in position. He used every every opportunity that came your way. You put yourself in position to where now you not only you doing your own thing, you got a whole other squad. Mm -hmm. That's what this shit is about. Yes. Get <laughs> yes, shit done. That's what this shit is about. Yeah. Like what you what you what you when a, when a baby is sucking on that breast, <laughs> getting that milk. <laughs> what is he getting the milk for? Grow. Yeah. To grow, to be strong enough to crawl and walk on his own yeah. and become its own entity. Yeah. And we all do that in various situations. Yeah. All of us. We've yeah. all done that. We did that at MTV too. We did that. I did that. I do that at Breakfast Club. Yeah. Showed you do that with stand up. You did. We do that with Brilliant Idiots. We've all done that. Mm -hmm. We've all done that to be able to put ourselves in position mm -hmm. to be able to walk on our own. Man, mm -hmm. if you are a grown ass adult and you ain't still figured out how to walk on your own, God bless you. If you mm. scared, if you scared to walk on your own, yeah, God without bless the you. without the motherfucking so walker. Oh my mm -hmm. God, so God you. bless you, bro. Shit is sad, man. It's a sad, sad, sad existence, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what... 
I, I actually, I mean this sincerely. I'm not trying to like be sarcastic mm-hmm. and shit like that, but I, I truly do wonder what, um, the, the, the Stan is feeling right now. Like the person that like went out there, like, cause I understand there's people who listen for entertainment value. Like I got some homies that know that, you know, the, the, the guy's full of shit. He just says whatever, but he's wildly entertaining. You cannot deny the entertainment value in the same way that, that you know, girls watch Real Housewives or something. It's like they don't really value what the girls are saying. They're like, this is just so funny. It's so entertaining. <laughs> They'll just say anything. Yeah, I got you. Right? So, like, but there are also people there who, like, tap and stand and got your back and will ride so hard. And then to know that they were riding so hard for something that was a facade and it wasn't true and the exact opposite thing was happening. It's almost like QAnon, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you know, those people who <laughs> tried to take down, you know, take, to take down a country or whatever. They, they stormed the Capitol and it's like, yeah. and now they found out that it was all, a facade. it was all bullshit. They were manipulated the whole time. None of the things that they were hearing were true. Like, what do those people do, man? That's dangerous. Bro. They, nah, they gonna mean, become that, terrorists that, or some shit. It's it's but, you must feel so disillusioned, like you were on the internet fighting for somebody because you truly believe what he was saying was real. But then you found out he wasn't living up to it, even to his own closest people. Like I, I honestly feel bad for those people, bro. I I, I truly do. Yeah, I have so. empathy for those people. Well, that's how cults are formed, you know. And I'm not talking about that situation. I'm just talking about things in general. In general, okay? yeah. Cults are, cults are formed because you know you prey on people's need to believe to create this cult-like following. So mm. you know you give them something to believe in, and how do you give them something to believe in? You whip up a fight. We see it all the time. We see it all the time in politics. You got to have an enemy. Uh. You know, and, and, and in this situation, the enemy is the industry. The enemy is you know the the the, the people that are you know taking advantage of the creators right so you know you 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 build you create that you create this this enemy but the truth is yeah. you really just want to be a part of that situation which is sad and that's what happens a lot of times a lot of times we become what we hate oh, you know what i'm we, saying or we've always been it we just never oh, had the power to uh, expose so you hate it very true are, 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 are we never got accepted by it uh, that's another thing too, right? It's like that yeah. it's like that girl that uh keeps ignoring you over and over and over so you try to get with her. She doesn't want you. So then you show extreme disdain. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, like you know what I'm saying? No, like you sh- you yeah. show extreme disdain for her. For soon as she gives you a little bit of play. I love it. You all up her hips. I love you. I'm with yes. you. I'm right. I'm right here with you. I'm hugging you, boo. And you by the way, I, mean? I just want to point out, I would never do that with a streaming platform ever. I am Mr. Independent. <laughs> and I would never do a special with a major streaming platform <laughs> at all. So I am not a hypocrite whatsoever when it goes down to that shit. No, no. But in, in, in all seriousness. But once again, shows the difference between you and we had this conversation. Oh, I'm Hippocrates. Let's go. You admit it. Of course. But the other thing... Because there's nothing wrong with changing your mind. You know what the cruelest thing about that shit is, though? Is, like, the the issues that oftentimes these, like, cult leaders bring up to manipulate people are actually true, real issues. Yeah, You know, like, the industry is corrupt. Yes. Right? Like, all the things that they're saying, people don't respect creators. And all the things they're saying are real. So if you're a creator, if you're somebody who's been treated shitty by the industry, you're like, finally, someone's saying this shit. Yeah, but yes, if you're not keeping that same energy with your own people, you are just using it as a tool to manipulate people to support you, and that's kind of corny, bro. Wait, I I have a question though. Go, Ivy, go. So, if this person has been in a history of you know hitting walls in whatever business endeavors he has pursued, Mm -hmm. how can he really lead? When all he has experienced is loss. He's not the best person to lead that pack because all he knows is what he's experienced. I think that's a very valid question. I would like I said, I think I would think I would think people would learn from their experiences, but I guess they don't. And that's why I gotta question said person and I gotta question the person's team. You know what I mean? How do you, how, number one, how do you continue to end up in these situations if you have the experience? And number two, how does your team continue to put you in these situations? And this goes back to what started, you know, his rants against me last mm. fall. 
I said I said one simple thing on Breakfast Club. One simple thing. I think the, <laughs> I think the, I think the brother understands his value. He knows his worth, but he doesn't know how to negotiate it. Yeah, which is essentially saying I don't think he knows the business like he thinks he knows the business. Then, which caused him to go on all these rants, you know, about <sighs> me, about you know, oh, you're not an owner and you're not this and you're not that, blah blah blah. I didn't give a damn. Person. You know, people were like, oh, you, you know, Charlamagne. That's insecurity, though. Explain. That's. If if you're saying something that's not even a, a diss, mm-hmm. I, I think that's constructive criticism. Yes. I think that is like just general basic analysis. I thought so. So when you come back in defense, especially that's like mm-hmm. if you're saying Ivy, I think that, you know, you work really hard, but this this may not be for you. I'm not gonna be like, well, that's why you bald head. And that's why I got a lot. Like that. You just deflecting. Why you have to say I'm just I mean, <laughs> I mean it's, it's not what I feel, is what you are. <laughs> but it's just you're deflecting the the yeah. the point. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's thank you for that that information. Thank you for your opinion. Now I'm gonna look at why you may think that. Yeah. You know, and I'm going to work on it so you don't have mm-hmm. another comment to say about my business again. Well, that's that's the way you do it. And, and that's com- competition. Right? And, and the worst part about that, you know, yes, constructive criticism. Mm-hmm. Then we even get on the phone and chop mm-hmm. it up about that criticism. But you behind the scenes on one way, right, mm-hmm. with me, you know, asking for help. We're discussing things. But then you get on your platform and act like your enemies. Act like we the worst enemies, and then you and now you and now you take it somewhere where you can't come back from. At yeah. least with me, yeah. that bridge is burnt. You know, mm. run with that Reddit. Like that. you know what I'm saying? You know that what? bridge is burnt. It's Completely interesting. Burnt. It's interesting when with the the parallels with Trump. I, I was talking to this guy who's a uh, he was like a CIA or FBI hostage negotiator. His name is Chris Voss. You've probably seen him. He's doing like a master class, whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was talking about negotiation techniques and why he's he's like a conservative dude, but he's very critical of Trump. He doesn't think Trump is a good negotiator. And that's like Trump's whole thing. And he goes, he's just a bully. And eventually the bully tactic wears out. So of he's course. like, Definitely. sorry, say again. Of course. Oh, yeah. I, I, I've, I've said this analogy a million times. I'd rather be the son than the win. Right. Remember, have you ever heard that story about uh there was this guy, he was walking with a coat on, he had a big trench coat and he had a hat and the sun and the wind was like, let's see who can get him to take his clothes off first. Mm-hmm. And you know, the wind started blowing all crazy. And like, so the guy grabbed his coat tighter yeah. and held his hat on tighter. The sun was like, watch this. The sun came out, he was warm, mm. he was loving, he was radiant. That dude got naked and sat under a tree. Yeah. I'd rather be the sun. So he was saying what, oh. what Trump had owned the real estate, I think it was by like Hudson Yards in, in New York for years, mm-hmm. but couldn't get it built up. This is before Hudson Yards popped up. You guys know Hudson Yards over on the West Side. And he couldn't get anybody develop be, develop it because all the people he'd already burned the bridges with. They were like, yeah. we did a building with you and it fucking was the yeah. worst. So I don't want to work <laughs> yeah. with you again. Eventually he had to sell it. And then within a few years, it becomes the Hudson Yards uh, development that is right now in New York. These buildings are crazy, blah, blah. Point is, you eventually run out of people to fuck over. You yeah. keep on yeah. fucking over someone else. You keep on fucking over. Right so keep on fucking over. And you run out of people to fuck over. And it's just the audacity, right? Like, if you're with, if you're one way with me behind the scenes, but then you get on camera in front for the people that's, you know, watching you. I'm watching this like oh, I can't do business with this. I, I don't. I don't. What fuck with was you. the I, reason? Yeah, I, don't, I don't even respect you because here's the thing. This, this this what I love about life, right? We live in this era where people got platforms, so people can do YouTube videos. They can do their podcast. Here's the thing. I know you're lying. Yeah. Your audience don't know, so you're entertaining them. Mm. But I'm watching you knowing that you're lying. Mm. I don't care if everybody else knows. I know. So when now you try to come back and deal with me and text me, good morning. Hell mm. no, I'm not responding to you. <laughs> don't, don't please <laughs> people that you ain't never met before. Word is born. Versus the people that you know you're going to see at dinner one day. Word. I'm lying to kick it. Some, we, 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 sometimes we don't got we, nothing else. Are you dumb, stupid, or slow? Are you dumb, stupid, or slow? We don't got nothing else to talk about. I wish you the best. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, much success to you, even if you wish me the opposite. Because mm. sooner or later, we'll all see who the prophet is. Now, mm. Jones. You know what I mean? And, and listen, I'm the type of person, 
you know, this this is the first time I've even like spoke about this since since those rants last fall. But I didn't speak with words. I spoke with actions. Because mm. that's another thing. Like, you can say whatever about me. I know what my hand is. Yeah, you know what I mean? Words. Exactly. You can say whatever about me. And I know what I'm doing. It's like, oh, Charlamagne, he don't own nothing. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Hey, Black we'll Effect. See. Podcast Network. Even though I've owned mad stuff prior to all of that. Mm-hmm. But Black Effect Podcast Network. You can go to blackeffect.com. I Black Privilege Publishing, Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency. It's out right now. SBH with my man Kevin Hart at Audible. We've got answers available on Audible right now. I, I, I'm working, bro. Like, I don't have time for the back and forth because there is no back and forth. Exactly. I gave a critique. I gave a critique, which I think now people can say without a, doubt, a shadow of a doubt was true. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> without yeah. a shadow of a doubt, I think we can say that this critique is true because if you constantly end up in the same situations, I clearly you. you don't know business like you think you know business. And that's yeah. fine. It's never too late to learn. God bless you. Wish you the best. Yeah. But as, as far as me, like, you know, when people ask, you know, why, you know, why I don't speak on certain things, I don't want to. Me, 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 yeah. me. You don't need to. I don't need to. Me and that brother did not sit down and come to an agreement that we wouldn't speak against each other. Mm-hmm. Th- 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 there's no threat he can make against me that 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 scares me. I just don't feel the need to do this. Right. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. It's, and it's just it's just that's it. Moral of the story is stop being emotional. <laughs> okay. Stop being I emotional. Mean, For real. Because a lot I, of the I, things I, that I we're really talking love, about. I really love that. A Latin woman just said that. <laughs> I think that we need to we need to create an NFT off of that right now. Yeah. Stop being emotional by a New York wait, but wait, 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 New York wait. Latin woman. When Let all y'all do it, New York Andrew. Latin women are the most passionate, Fashion. emotional people there are. But that's why I could talk about this because yeah. I am super passionate. But I know when there's a time and a place. Yeah. If yeah. I'm handling business. I'm not going to go off of my emotions because that's not doing good business. That's just doing what you feel in the moment. You know, you're not thinking about the end goal. Like when you get a text like, don't mm-hmm. come for a week. And you're like, can you explain? And then you yeah. emphasize the text. Yeah. Or yeah. you fire somebody on Twitter. Yeah. That's emotion. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? I think Ivy's right. Also, I don't do performative things. Like, yeah. when I talk to, I, I really value our audience. I value our listeners. I'm not, I, I don't care if it's Breakfast Club. I don't care if it's Brilliant Idiots. Wherever we're at, I'm not just putting things out there to, to do it. You know what I mean? The times I was doing that, the times I was being a caricature, the times I was performing, all I did was bump my head and fuck my own shit up. Mm. Slow my slow my own progress up. So I, I'd rather just pull up and, and, right. and give it to y'all, you know, real deal Holyfield every single motherfucking time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh-huh. and, 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 and that's it. Nothing nothing more, nothing less. So mm-hmm. it's a lot of performing that goes on. The performing is when you sit next to somebody and you know things aren't right you know, professionally or personally, but you co-sign a lot of the bullshit. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's just like folks in the Trump administration. It's kind of hard to stand on a moral high ground now yep. after you watch this person do shitty things yep. to so many different people over the years and to think you wasn't going to be on the menu at some point. Of course. Come uh. on, man. I'll say it a million times. If you want to see how somebody's eventually going to treat you, watch how they treat other people because eventually it's going to be your turn yeah. so i just you know it's a lot it's a lot of things i just don't respect i don't respect that and you know i just don't respect you know the behind the scenes acting like it's all good but then in front of the camera it's let me paint this picture characters, of, of charlemagne exactly i don't like that so yeah, characters, characters. god bless them and god bless everybody over there i truly still wish them the best my brother I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't wish, should. I really don't wish bad on anybody. Yeah, like I'm not, I don't sit back and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see this is happening. Nah, it's just like, damn. We don't want you to fall. We want you to learn. That's yeah. bro. Ooh, look at my niece with the fuck. That's it. Spends time with Charla. That's it. That's it. I don't want you to fall. I want you to learn. That's it. It's just, it's, you know, it's just, it's hard when these people are so old. We're in our forties. It's never too late. Schultz don't give a fuck. Schultz is like, I don't burn, care. baby, burn. <laughs> <laughs> Schultz is like, when they all, all fall down. 
<laughs> you gotta love Andrew for that. Mm. No, nah, I mean, like, I, I just don't care. Like, I, I don't care either I don't. way. I don't care up, down. Like, I just don't. It doesn't matter. Um, but once I, uh, once I remove you, like, once I remove you and I yeah. remove your well being from like my mind, then it, yes, it doesn't yes. matter to me. Yeah, I guess. I, I guess that. you know what? I, I, I feel the same way. I guess the only, the only reason that even made me comment the way that I commented now, just because I see people on. They online seem to care. By the way, I love Reddit, bro. Weezy put me on the Yo, Reddit. Reddit. Reddit is fire, bro. Reddit is fire. I Reddit, fucking, I think to Weezy. Reddit is amazing. Yeah, if you like so Twitter, like, you're gonna love Reddit. Oh my god. Yeah. I let's say, I'm not one of those people that let social media dictate my moves. But Reddit? You know what I mean? So it's like and I don't let social media think for me like a lot of people do. Yeah. So I just enjoy it for what it is. Entertainment. It is a very, very entertaining place. Damn and right. they are very invested. And things that we're doing in this podcast space, which I think is great. Oh yeah! Shouts to you the know? to the brilliant idiot subreddit, yo! Shouts to the brilliant whack. idiot subreddit. Right, we got to do a Reddit Austin. AMA. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So, oh, I did one of those before back in the day. <laughs> we did it together, motherfucker. Back in the day, <laughs> we did. Yeah. I don't even remember. <laughs> Hold on, I got to see how much yeah, money shit, I'm losing in Coinbase right nah, now. Oh Jesus fucking! Our Christ. shit is trash. I went, I went to Brilliant Idiot subreddit and I didn't get n no enjoyment out of it. It was like, man, ain't nobody over here. You know, how you, you know how you go to a club and nobody's in the club. <laughs> I'm like, shit. I didn't enjoy it. All right, well, I tried to how shout y'all out, man. I, I did my best, Brilliant Idiots. Ready? I'm with y'all. Right? Fuck with us. Fuck with us. I mean, I don't know how to. I don't know. We you know we got teach him. You know what it is. We are. You know what it is. Our auras are too beautiful, bro. So <laughs> you know, you you can't you can't have a popping subreddit. You know, if your aura is too beautiful, you know what I mean. It's nothing to talk about. So on this morning, you know what I'm saying. So on this morning, I woke up, bro, and my my aura my aura was off, bro. Talk to me. I don't know, man. Like I, I woke up, I wiped I wiped some cold out my eye. Uh, that happens. I had to see who you know, who's this page of me and why, <laughs> and then I, 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 I oh called. My God. Nah. Yeah. Listen, you should have meditated. I should have. Yeah, that's what I do. I meditate. I do my breathing exercises. You know, what I'm saying. I, I, well, the first thing in the morning I do is I pray. I meditate because my my anxiety's been bad the past couple of days. I don't know why. It's just been like. How long do you meditate? Um, I don't do it long. I have a, I have a chant, right? So mm -hmm. I have these beads and the beads, I think it's like 150 beads. So you I be Nam Yoda can't kill in? No, I have my own personal mantra. Charlemagne. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. If you continue this shit, mantra. I'm about to sign you to the White Effect Network. I swear to God. <laughs> beads and stones and all this other stuff. I, I think it's something to do with the moon though, because it's like a lot of people I know that got anxiety is like, like flaring. All right, right I'm right, taking like, a pee. I'll be back. <laughs> Hold on. Hello? <laughs> are we recording? <laughs> Hold on. Are we recording? Yeah. Listen, I got one more thing to say before we move on from this situation because I promise you I'm not talking about this shit no more. Okay. Ever. Okay. Again, again in life. But since we are on the subject, I do just want to say Get it this off your chest. You wrote it down? No, no, I didn't write it down. <laughs> what, what Ivy said was very true. We don't want you to fall. We want you to learn. Um, you know, when, 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 when bridges get burnt with me, it's just when people, you know, uh, go out of their way to, you know, assassinate my character, but also um, when it's just lies being told, there, there was, there's no smear campaign. Like I, I, I want, this is what I want you to learn. I want you to, I want you to hold yourself accountable, right? Mm. Stop. Don't blame people for shit that you got yourself in through, got yourself mm. into. You know what I mean? That was just a deflection tactic. To say it was a smear campaign. How do how did I start that? That's when I knew I don't fuck with this dude. You can't even pronounce smear. <laughs> man, shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. But I'm just saying that that's that's it's, that's yet another reason why it's like, God bless you. I wish you the best. But you know, that bridge over here is burnt. Like, come on. You knew you 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 know you know that was not the case. But in order to deflect from whatever bullshit you had going on in your life, you wanted to mm. throw that shit over here and have people looking at me nuts like I don't have things to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? But don't ask me no more about that shit ever again. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about it. I got too many. I got too many companies to run and too many of my friends to uh, love, love and, and empower and respect and employ. OK, mm. now let's pay some bills. God bless. Uh, the world to and we're moving on. <laughs> the world today what? is nuts. 
I think y'all understand that based off our last conversation. And just when it seems like things are getting better, we're hit with even more reasons to be anxious and uncomfortable. And that's why our friends at Cushy Dreams can help. Cushy Dreams specializes in high quality smokable CBD. And CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, inflammation, even pain relief and more. And smoking CBD gets it into your system right away so you don't have to wait long for the effects. Cushy Dreams Extraordinary CBD Rich Hemp Flower comes in eighth ounce cans and pre-rolled joints. It is cannabis that ships discreetly to you and directly to all 50 states. They offer indigo and sativa strains that deliver effects like relax, create, hustle, peace, energy, and dream. I've been needing some cushy dreams all week because um, it's hard for me to sleep without, you know, uh, doing an edible. But I don't be wanting the high effects sometimes. I just want to, mm. you know, actually go to sleep. So whether you smoke beautiful bud or pre-rolls, Cushy Dreams has you covered. Uh, their popular pre-roll joints are rolled in organic hemp paper and feature an even slow burn. And pre-rolls are now available in five packs. With Cushy Dreams, experience the therapeutic benefits of CBD with full flower, full spectrum, and full flavor. We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies, and want to smoke your CBD. And now you can enjoy all of the benefits of cannabis without getting high. Go to CushyDreams.com. That's K U S A. HYDreams.com. At checkout, use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. Smoke your CBD with promo code IDIOTS and get 20% off today. And also, protect your dicks, everybody. You're not delivering the best dick that you can, and I'm going to help you do it. And ladies, you deserve the best dick. Okay, we're coming out of this pandemic. You probably haven't been dicked down for over 365 days, and you're going to make up for it in this first month. And you better be damn sure that you're getting the dick that you deserve. And the way you're going to do that is blue chew. <laughs> Fellas, you chew it up, you chew them out. That simple. Bluechew.com. Make sure you use the promo code IDIOTS, okay? And you're going to get it for free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. Promo code IDIOTS, bluechew.com. Same active ingredient that's in Cialis or Viagra, but this is the chew. This is how we roll. We don't play any fucking games about it. We're out there delivering pecker to the best of our abilities. Bluechew.com. <laughs> Use the promo code IDIOTS. Get out there. Well, let's get back to the show. All right. We got these church announcements, Schultz. What you got? Yes. Church announcements. Big tour. <laughs> Big Big, big, big. Okay? We are going um, official. The infamous tour. Tickets go on sale this Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay? I posted it online on Instagram. I can tell you the exact places that we're going to. But theandrewschultz.com. Use those ticket links. If you're trying to get the tickets before Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you're going to get these bogus links. They're going to hit you over the head. Prices, Ticket prices, fucking thousands of dollars and shit. No. 10 a.m. Friday. Get up. Get the tickets for your city, for other cities. Go do that. It's this Friday, 10 a.m. Also, big news. I'm switching the special taping. The special taping is no longer going to be in L.A. We are still going to do those shows there. But I can't do the special there because we don't know what the fuck is going to happen in L.A. Okay? They might make you wear masks. What special they might taping? The what the, whoa, 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 whoa. What special taping? What? Oh, bro, the special taping special that was from taping? before the pandemic. I had same a special network? before the pandemic. Same again? network? Same network? Well, same uh, platform? I can't, I can't say who. I can't say who, you know? I can't say who. I mean, don't who. say who, but I, I know the platform. I knew what the platform was. So was it the same platform? Yes. yes. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. All yes. right, Big Dick Schultz. <laughs> so, God damn. We still, so we were going to do it in LA. You know, we sold out four shows at the Orpheum. I'm coming. When and is it? But now we switched it to Austin in September. So that's as part of the infamous, infamous oh, tour dates. You come out just real quick. We're doing Dallas, Houston, Tucson, Los Angeles, Oklahoma City, Detroit, Milwaukee, San Diego, Austin. That'll be the special taping. Louisville, Cincinnati, Philadelphia, Indianapolis, Washington, D.C., Madison, Chicago, Minneapolis, Fargo, which I specifically wanted to go out there because why not? And then New Year's Eve, we're going to go Boston. That will round out the year. But... I'm telling you, the special will be in Austin now. The tickets that everybody had for those L.A. shows are still, uh, if you bought tickets from before the pandemic, we are still honoring those. And since we're not filming there, we're releasing more tickets because we don't have to kill any seats for cameras, etc. So those will also be available Friday. Go get them shits and uh, go get them now, man. I'm, I'm very excited about this tour. It's going to be wild. going to be big. Everybody's ready to go back out. The energy is, I don't know, the energy. I can feel the energy, man. It's been different. It's been different. Is the Andrew excitement Schultz, is there. AndrewSchultz.com. AndrewSchultz.com. 
the the Andrew Schultz.com. Some motherfucker. Okay. Don't, for, don't forget the V. So we gotta go the Andrew Schultz.com. Don't forget the V. Yeah, T H E. T H E. And by the way, Go get them shits. Boston on New Year's Eve is the whitest shit. That's like that's like white people's Miami. Yeah. For Boston on New Year's Eve. <laughs> New Year's Eve, bro. Oh, Boston is nice. Not on New Year's Eve. Oh, Yo, Boston. Where, where, where should he go? That's my that's know. my favorite that's my favorite like I love those are that's the city where all my favorite comics are from Boston man I think the funniest really? people come from there. Okay okay yeah. wax wax you got some uh, church announcements? Yeah I'm um I'm over in Cookie San Diego um I'm at 36 dispensaries in LA I get the flower there um I'm, I got my lemonade is going off the, it's like getting a lot of orders appreciate y'all um what else do I have I got the paintball fighting man I want y'all mm -hmm. to really come out to that. I'm doing podcast wars, and I want everybody to come and participate. We got Bully and the Beast on Mondays and Wednesdays. So yeah, make sure y'all watch and that. This week's was a very interesting episode that we learned a lot about with Wax. Nah. Oh, we're gonna get to that in a second. <laughs> Ivy, you got any church announcements? Nah. Um, I'm alive and I'm blessed and I'm tanned. And your aura is beautiful. And my all aura is beautiful. All our auras <laughs> are beautiful, man. Uh, my church Blessings. announcements is the same every week. BlackEffect.com, log on there and uh, get all the uh, various podcasts that are, that are under the Black Effect. Make sure you go to Audible and download um, We've Got Answers, which is an audio book I put out about a month ago. Um, it's free with an Audible membership. And uh, Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built. Man, when I tell you that you know, the, the 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 response to the book has been like overwhelming and, you know, just seeing everybody, you know, post the book online and seeing the reviews on the book, man, I, 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 Tamika Mallory deserves it all. I got to post 100%. my book. For what? I'm like, I can't post my book. No, I don't like influences that don't read. <laughs> like, no. Uh, she, I'm, I'm doing the audible <laughs> shit. What? I'm doing the audible shit. <laughs> Put it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Damn. I ain't no, don't it. put it on YouTube. What are you talking about? I don't what? know how to do this shit. <laughs> nah, Wax. Oh, Wax got to start posting. <laughs> nah, dude, this is a great idea. Wax, you got to start posting, like, you reading books. Like, remember LeBron when he would just read the first page oh of every book? Oh, my God. Start with the cat in the well, hat. Well, speaking of uh, Wax's reading, he has a segment on Bullion Bees called Wax's ABCs, where he learns new words and tries to pronounce them. And I'm doing Wax, very well. Wax found out this week that he's a little bit gay, like we yeah. all are, so. Ah, slow down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just a whoa. tad. Just whoa. a tad. Well, I, like, well, like I said, if, if, is that, if that's the definition of it, Yes, I'd be gay if that's the definition of it. <laughs> but that's not the definition of it. Please let me get that bite. Please let me get that bite. Listen, Thank that's you. not the definition of gay, though. <laughs> what you mean? A man jerking off is not... Don't mean gay. Okay, no, explain no, the story. No, no, no. It's story. simple. It's simple. Let me ask you a question, Alex and Andrew, since y'all sitting over there. Has a man ever made you nut? Think about it. Yes, I've made me nut. Boom. Alex. So they both get little, too. Little Latinx. Has a man ever made you nut? <laughs> By Andrew's definition, yes. yes. Yo, yo. My yo, hand Charlamagne. made me nut, not me. Charlamagne. So you're I'm going to go you. so far. I'm going to go so far to say is the majority of the times that I've come in my life have been at, at the hand of a man. No, 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 no. I feel I'm second. I'm second behind my wife. You think you're what? Yeah, but you've been with your wife since you're like 17 yeah, you years old. Andrew, do you, do you look in the mirror when you masturbate? No. That would do it again. <laughs> No, that's a little weird. That's a little weird. That's why I'm jerking off no more. If you look in the mirror while you <laughs> masturbate and you have like a real intense orgasm, look stupid as hell. Hey, but that's our whole point. A man has made Yo, you masturbate. Can, can we talk about this though? This is interesting. Uh -huh. uh, Charlemagne has a tattoo of a man on his jerk off forearm. <laughs> mm, what? <laughs> When he, when he's show me the man, he sees the man. This is not a man. It's a mutant. It's a mutant. It's a mutant. This is Wolverine. Listen, I got a I got a Bible scripture on my shit. All right, so yo, Jesus jerked off. Alex got Martin Luther King Jr. on his jerk off form. Hold on, time out, time out. Guess what? Wax's Bible scripture is. What is it? Palm. Oh, song. <laughs> Never mind. Listen, baby, he we said, shoot. Oh, we shoot oh, him. Oh. We try. <laughs> you didn't have not been to church, sir. <laughs> we try oh, things. Lord, 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 he him. said, Palm. We, we all look confused. He said, Palm. I'm about to say Palm Sunday. The Book of Palm. <laughs> Yo, 
Did I? Did you guys hear what Alex has on his jerk off for him? What? Martin Luther King Jr. Really? Oh my yeah. God! Why? Is your cousin? Alex, have some cream. What'd you? What'd you <laughs> <laughs> What? I had a cream. What? I had a cream. Alex, <laughs> 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 you really do? Yeah. Why? Oh shit. He said, "Why?" <laughs> Yo, I'm reading. I'm reading a fantastic book that you would like called "The Sword and the Shield," and it's by mm -hmm. uh, 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 per Peniel Joseph. A uh, Peniel, the Peniel or Peniel, Doctor Peniel Joseph, I believe. Um, it's it's about Martin and Malcolm. I've never read a book that humanized them in this way, bro. Oh really? No, a man. Good. It is yo. Listen, it is not. It is fantastic. Charlotte, and, Charlotte, yes, Charlotte, yes. Save, save your breath. What? Okay. What? He just got that tattoo because he got a white girlfriend. Yes. Don't, don't listen. You still have a white girlfriend? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Well, like, you can't deny you her. her. Well, wow. One thing you're gonna learn in Sword and the Shield. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta get them the slippers. Hey, but one thing you're gonna <laughs> learn in Sword and the Shield. Dr. Umar. Dr. Martin Luther King wasn't opposed to white women. <laughs> Let's go! Hey. New podcast coming to the White Effect Network. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, y'all would have absolutely can't by by this generation's <laughs> definitions, y'all would have absolutely canceled Martin Luther King Jr. Y'all would have canceled what? him. What? Y'all would have called him. No y'all would have called him a womanizer. Y'all would have called him misogynistic. Y'all would have called him sexist. He he was he didn't. I mean, but he was young though. That's the thing. I'm sure he would have grown yeah. and would evolved. But he didn't believe in women being in uh, leadership positions. You know what I mean? Like it, you which know, positions did he believe them? Oh, them shut being shut up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? like, like, you know, Ella, Ella, Ella Baker had a lot of you know a lot of things to say. It's a good read. You should you should you should check it out. That's all I'm saying, Alex. Let me see the tattoo. Uh, you really got Wonderful King Jr.? Yeah. His face or his name? His face? His full face. <laughs> he looking at his full That's face, bro, while he's jerking does, off. Does it actually look like him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it's me a, see, bro. Do you have... Let me see. Put it Wait, to the so camera. On the see, other hand, do you have a, someone that, that's Spanish? Let me see, bro. Damn. Bro, that's Meek Mill. <laughs> oh that's my god. Oh, that's me, bro. <laughs> that's your, man, you better say that's your baby picture. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> say that's your baby picture. If anybody say anything, that's, that's, Not, my, that's baby my baby picture. picture. <laughs> that's my uncle. That's my, that's my kid. Baby. That's my son. You and boy, you and Weezy really trying to sell this black owned studio <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 by any means yeah. necessary. Yeah. By any means necessary. Like, look, he has a lot of pee on his arm. You should definitely come Jesus here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> listen, listen, did, did you did you see the flag Rogan caught shorts? Yeah. Tell me what you thought about that. As a straight, as a straight white male, well, yes. are, you're not all the way straight. You're a little crooked. Yeah. <laughs> yes. As, 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 <laughs> yes. As a, yes. As a straight but slightly <laughs> crooked male, what did you think of the statement? What is what is? Wait, how am I not all the way straight? I'm about to get married <laughs> because bro. a man like, made if, you come. Say what? <laughs> a man made you nut before. His you don't know how did, I identify. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't know how your hand misses. identifies. <laughs> you don't know how I identify. My yeah. right hand identifies as a woman's as hand. A woman's right? hand. <laughs> I hate you. You only put pedicures over there. <laughs> manicure, oh, manicure, you crazy guy. Oh, same shit. <laughs> exactly. So care. this is this is a woman's hand right here, bro. This <sighs> hand is is woman. <laughs> the rest of my body's man, but that hand is woman, bro. That's a woman's touch. Okay. When I'm grabbing my shit, that's a woman's touch. But what, what did you what think? What the fuck? What did you think of what he said? <laughs> it's true. This, everything, listen, woman's touch. Wait, what'd you say? What did you think of what Rogan <laughs> said? What what well what are we saying exactly? So he was saying that like straight uh, white I'm, males I'm, can't I'm, have an I'm, opinion I'm, I'm, I'm these a, days. Yeah, I read. I read. The, I mean, it, it was a long transcript because it's from the podcast. But I I read the headline. Joe Rogan yeah. warns: woke mob will make it so straight white men won't be allowed to talk or go outside. I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's he's being hyperbolic, right? He's taking that out of context, and like clearly Joe is proof that straight white males can have an opinion, but he's not talking about himself, obviously, right? In order for him to be able to say whatever he wanted, he's gone through immense amount of flack. Like, Im like you don't get close to the amount of flack for having like very polarizing figures on the breakfast club that Joe gets for having like political pundits mm -hmm. on Joe Rogan, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's it, of course, what he's trying to say is that there is a heightened stakes that has to do with it. But I think that there's, look, it's like, how do we say it? Like, um, can Joe say whatever he wants? Absolutely. He's made a career saying whatever he wants. 
is he paying the price for saying yes? And that is the cost that you have to pay for these things. And I think that he would agree with that. I think he's more referring to people who work for like corporations and they might have a conservative opinion, but be worried if they say that at their, their, their job, that they might get fired. They might not get a raise. They might not do these things. And I think that's more what he was saying for it's not specifically Joe. Like I think Joe's a pretty self-aware guy. Maybe I'm more defensive of him, you know, because he's done a lot for me, just like I'm defensive of of you because you've done a lot for me. So it's hard for me to see you guys and like see you guys do wrong. But I think that's what he's speaking on. I'm mad. I don't know. Does that make sense? What do you think? It makes perfect sense what you said. And I agree with you. I'm mad at Joe for one thing. I'm mad that he he said straight white men because the woke mob eventually comes for everyone. And I think, ah. and I think, and I think that it was a, it's a larger conversation to be had, but we can't get to the conversation. And you're kind of proving Joe's point again, because Joe said straight white men. So everybody's stuck on that point. The truth to the matter is free speech is not free and it never has been. There has mm. always been a cost to the things that come out of your mouth. Jesus. Now, are we paying too high of a price for things that we mm. may be saying now that we didn't pay 10 years ago? Sure, to your point, because these corporations, they get upset, they want to back away. You know, people get on social media, they raise hell. So, you know, you might lose speaking engagements, whatever it is, you lose all types of things. But eventually, wokeness comes for everyone. It can, I've, it, it cannibalizes everybody. I saw Don everybody. Lemon talking about it, uh, you know, today. And he said that, hey, Joe Rogan, nobody's stopping straight white men from talking. Nobody's stopping any of us from talking. What Joe was yeah. saying is the backlash. That's what yes. people don't want. So eventually, yeah, yeah, yeah. eventually people will get scared and not want to say anything. And they then, are. They are already they are. Yes. Yeah, TikTok, not, and, yeah. and not just in entertainment, right? Comedians, radio personalities, TikTok. podcasters. We can't even talk, bro. Like me and you can't, Yo, we can't even have an honest conversation without thinking we're going to step on a landmine and piss people the fuck off. That's a great point. And I think that's, oh, that's a great way of looking at it. If he didn't say straight white males, so many more people, people of color, minorities would come out and be like, yo, that's true. Like, sometimes I feel like I can't even say anything because I'm going to piss off my woke brothers. I mean, how many friends do we have that are like uh, adjacent to the super woke community? And they're like, bro, I can't even have these conversations with them because then I'm going to be ostracized. Yo, I hit up, I hit up, I hit up uh, Don Limit, you know what I mean? Because. Whenever it's about, whenever I see media personalities, I'm like, yo, you do understand you're a media personality. You give your opinion for a living, right? So I hit up Don and I was like, Don, you're right. Nobody is silencing straight white men. Nobody is silencing any of us. You just have to be able to deal with the backlash. And I'm like, yo, you're, Don Lemon is an openly gay black man. How many times has he, how many times 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 has the woke mob come for him? Hold on. Wait, Don Lemon Don is here. black? Sure. Oh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Andrew Schultz is the greatest, bro. Don't, don't, ever let it, don't ever get him fucked up, right? I knew it was coming. I could hear it in his voice. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Yeah. But no, how many times did they come for Don Lemon? <laughs> yeah. Just because he had a, a difference of opinion, or because he had an unpopular opinion, or who gives a fuck? It was just his opinion. Mm. So it doesn't matter whether you're a straight white male, a, a, a black gay man, a, a, a transgender, whatever, Jewish, Asian. Eventually, they will they come, come for you. The woke you you will say something online that somebody will not agree with. And here's the thing, right? Huh? You should not get in front of a microphone. You should not get in front of a, t- a, a, a camera and express your opinion if you're afraid of people disagreeing with you. Yep. Nope. I have no problem with the disagreement, right? The problem I have is that whole, let's get this person the fuck out of here just because you don't agree with something that they said. To me, that's weak. That's whack. 
That's weak to me. Mm. Let's have the debate. Why do you think we watch ESPN first take? Because we like the debate. Why do you think yeah. that we watch CNN and MSNBC when it's the talking heads in the panels or Bill Maher? Because we like the debate. Why can't yeah. we all just exchange mm. ideas? As long as the ideas aren't dangerous, as long as the ideas aren't hurting nobody, as long as the ideas aren't calling for nobody to get killed. You know what I mean? Why can't we have conversation? That's all. That's it. I agree. That, that, I agree. That was my only thing. I, I think, and I, and I, and I think and, that's a great take. And I, I think that's a really, really great take because maybe what he didn't realize in the moment is that far more people and groups could relate to the opinion that he was having on it. Yes. And by making, yeah. Yes, wokeness is coming for us all. I, I all promise you, everybody gets a turn. The only yeah. people who don't get a turn are the ones that are lying to everybody mm. and they're and, and they're playing it so safe that they're literally just saying whatever the crowd wants them to yeah, say. Right. But even yep. even those people with their safe opinions, it's going to be somebody that disagrees with you. I, t I say this to them on the Breakfast Club all the time. I tell Envy, Envy this all the time because Envy gets very frustrated. But one of my mentors, my man Cadillac Jack, Cadillac Jack always talked about the law of 10. Three people going to like it. Three people not going to like it. Four people just going to be on the fence about it. Or four people not even going to give a fuck. Yeah. So on yep. social media, it is literally the epitome of everybody has an audience and everything mm -hmm. has an audience. So it's mm -hmm. just like you got to, it comes with the territory, man. That's that, yeah. that, that was my only pushback on Rogan. Don't say straight white male because now you make a conversation that should be macro micro. Because we're not even focusing yeah, on what dude. you said anymore. They're focusing on the fact that you as a straight white man and straight white men being the most privileged in this country historically can always say what the fuck they want to say. But guess what? That doesn't mean that they're not, that they're uh, exempt from the consequences of, you know of what's what interesting? they want to say. You know what's interesting? It's like, yeah. I'm sure this has happened in history before, but there's like a unified reaction to wokeness that everybody experienced within their communities, right? Like if you speak to somebody in the black community, the Asian community, the Indian community or whatever, there is like a set of opinions that the community agrees upon. They're like, hey, this is the best for empowerment for us. And I would imagine that if you disagreed with any of those opinions, right, the community might be like, yo, what are you doing? Like, why aren't you riding for us? Mm -hmm. And they might not try to cancel you, mm -hmm, but they mm -hmm. might be like, yo, you're not doing the right thing for mm -hmm, our group. Mm -hmm. I imagine that exists. Is that right or wrong? 100%. Around? Okay, so like in a weird way, everybody's experienced cancellation. They've just experienced it from within their own group. Absolutely. This person isn't Spanish enough. This person isn't Asian enough. This person isn't black enough. This person is whatever. Absolutely. And now we're all unified in these feelings, right? Instead of it happening within your own community, it's like, there's group thought to it. Oh, this person wasn't woke enough for Hollywood, mm. for news, for entertainment, et cetera. Mm. It's weirdly becoming the most relatable thing. Bro, everybody gets a turn. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know yeah. what to tell you. If you tweet, if you're on Instagram live, if you mm. got a radio show, if you got a podcast, if you do stand up, if you create art for a living, eventually you're going to say something that is going to cause the woke mm. Bob to jump on your ass. Everybody gets a turn. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 all I can tell you. I just hope that we get to the point where, you know, everybody starts taking some naps and we start getting some sleep because yeah. all this woke mm. shit is is keeping us up too long and we're not oh, yeah. thinking straight. We're tired and we're not able to have real conversations, real dialogue. But you notice that yeah. a lot of this, the commentary comes from people who don't even have a lot of like research behind their back. Very to even say anything. A bunch of trollers, of course. Yeah, like it's inevitable to a point where it's like I don't give a fuck what I say because I don't care what the fuck you say. Absolutely, mm -hmm. sweetheart. <laughs> mm. <laughs> who said? Who shot, said that shot, to you? Shot. That sounded personal. Yeah, that's <laughs> who said right that there. to you, Ivy? There, there, it was nobody in particular. Okay. I just, I, I'm, I have flashbacks. I have. PTSD from my time here at Brilliant Idiots. Oh yeah, they be, they be, they, every time I become the Brilliant Idiots, they want to cancel Ivy. Oh my god, <laughs> what's the Why, worst thing what they said to you, Ivy? I'm that I'm I'm not claiming my blackness. Yeah. You, you black? black? That you're what? Everybody's black. <laughs> oh, that's that's true. That is true. That is true. <laughs> I didn't know that. Wait, what they say? What they say? Hold on, because they they always try to say I'm not black. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Haters. 
The haters, Oh, my bro. God. I'm going to be honest with you. I can't think of one woman that's been on Brilliant Idiots that... Well, Jazz. Jazz is the only woman I think that's been on Brilliant Idiots that people actually like. Mm-hmm. Well, bless her. God, God bless. bless. Is that, yeah, who, God who, bless. Can you think of another one, Shows? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. They don't like... They, I think they intentionally don't want to like you. They don't like you, girls. They want. This is a boys bo- podcast. That's right. Yeah, they don't yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. No, nah, but that that particular episode was the one that really set the tone for me to be like, all right, you got to be unfazed. Like it was crazy. What was the one? What was one comment that you remember that like? <laughs> what I just said. <laughs> what, they said. what was it? I mean, it was just a lot of the same conversation and people black. telling me what I am and my history. That bothers you. It, it does bother me because if I'm having a, a honest conversation about my lack of family history or whatever, I don't fucking know you from a hole in the wall for you to tell me anything exactly. about that, myself. That's the whole yeah. point. You don't know them. So why are you getting upset? I know it's, you're it's not just talking. Like, I am why y'all yeah. talking? Yeah. What do I get upset tell about? Yo, Taylor, stop. Why do I ever get upset? She she upset. People. It Taylor, just goes you back so to my heated. point about yeah. what we're talking about. Like, there's a lot of people who are talking that don't know what the fuck they're talking well, about. That's, well, well no, what are you, Ivy? Because listen, Ivy, I, I didn't know Ivy and 6ix9ine grew Here up together. Go. Oh my God, no. That's a rumor. That's a rumor. I did not say that to you. You went to the deli and you went to the same high school. But you know yeah, him from Brooklyn, all right. right? Oh my God! What I said was he worked at a deli so that was you. very near to my high school. We mm-hmm. probably crossed paths, but I never knew him by name. He didn't know me by name. Did okay, he give so you like free? Like a, there's a real Latin community in this area. What's it? What area of Brooklyn? Bushwick. Is Bushwick. Bushwick. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yes. Bushwick. So, so what so happened? Like at the deli, I am like, not Mexican. I'm Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. I'm okay. second generation. My parents were born and raised in Bed Stuy. And that that's as much as I know. Got you. That's as much so as I know. the black side? They there. They they everywhere. <laughs> they, what you mean, huh? <laughs> I'm retarded with this type of stuff. I don't know who's who. I just found out Russian is not Polish. What? 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 I thought Russian <laughs> that's a Polish random is ass. <laughs> what? what is going I don't even know if that's true. White people is Russian Polish? No. Like, Poland you is its own country. Is Russia homework. is its own country. They have separate oh. countries. I knew that. Oh. Okay. Let's get into some shit you won't care about next week. I don't know if this is shit you won't care about next week or the deep dive. Oh, for, oh man. Rest in peace oh to Paul Mooney, God. bro. Oh, man. Rest in peace to the great Paul Mooney. Um, one of the best comics to ever do it. Uh, R.I.P. We sitting on a Breakfast Club interview from 2011 with Paul Mooney that we never put out. Wow, I do, boy. I don't know why we didn't put out. I really, I'm trying to, I, I, I'm actually, I just got it in my email. Wow, boy. I got to watch boy. it. No, I, I, I love Paul Mooney. I've been to Paul Mooney shows and seen him make people walk out. So I need to watch that interview and see why didn't we put this out in 2011? I don't know. Um, but rest in peace to him. All right, let's take a break for a second, okay, to talk about Squarespace. Uh, Domains, websites, online stores, marketing tools. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. You'll find what you need, whether you're showcasing your work, blogging and publishing content, selling products and services, announcing upcoming events, or anything you can dream of. Buying a domain from Squarespace is easy because there are no hidden fees or price hikes. And get to know your audience with their analytics tools. Those include insight on page views, traffic sources, time on site, audience geography, and more. It's all so simple to start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. All websites are optimized for mobile. Your site looks great on any device. Every Squarespace website and online store comes with a suite of integrated features and useful guides that help maximize prominence among search results. These SEO tools are paramount. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain that's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10 percent off your first purchase let's get back to the show uh what else we got ellen's out how you feel about that schultz i just didn't like her uh her whole reasoning what was the reasoning i forgot she's like it's not a challenge anymore yeah i believe that i I believe it is a challenge the show's taken huh it is a challenge. The show is tanking. Yeah, but she's been on for 19 oh, years. I I, th- I, I I did believe that one. And and what's crazy is this, the only fucked up thing about that situation 
if she signed the contract and knew she knew her contract was up in three years and she knew she wanted to walk away, now she don't go to now she don't get to walk away on her terms. You know what I'm saying? She don't get to walk away like Jordan with the Jazz. She's, she's walking away like Jordan with the Wizards. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because everybody thinks yeah. the shit is in turmoil because of, you know, all that stuff that happened last year. So she don't get to walk away on her own terms. That's about it. That's the only thing I did. I thought they fired her ass because they didn't want to pay her all that money for a show that wasn't getting any ratings. I mean, yo, 19 years, she won already. Yeah, so a lot no, she years. won, but I thought the re she didn't really resign. I thought the network was like, yo, it's time. Yo, we can't pay you all these millions when nobody's watching your show. So I gotta, I, we could well, fire yeah, you or maybe. you could fire you. And she lost some ad revenue too, so it's possible. It's possible. Yeah. Um, well, you said she came out. What else? What else we got? Yes, uh, salute to South Carolina State University. They gave me a, a honorary doctorate. Oh shit! This oh, is huge. Yeah. So on Day. you're a doctor. So like, are you a legit doctor now? I'm not a How does I'm it not, work? I'm not a legit doctor, but uh, I did get an honorary doctorate, so you can refer to me as Doctor Leonard McKelvey. But I would never disrespect the people that are really out there putting in that work to be real doctors. <laughs> but you have a doctor because you made the commencement speech, right? You have well, I mean, also because of like my philanthropy in South Carolina and, you know, things like that. And because of what I've so done. So what are you a doctor at? So your, your actions helped you skip the line to... Boom. Got it. There you go. But what are you a doctor yes, at? You're a doctor you like of a what? Dentist or anything like that? <laughs> Shut up. That's a dentist. I don't know. It's, an honor, it's an honorary a doctorate. So they honor you for your accomplishments. Your accomplishments, what, you know, like, your philanthropy. What specifically? So you've done a lot. You've done a lot. Are you a I doctor mean, listen, radio? I, I sat there and I listened to President Clark run down about six minutes of acc accolades. And I was like, who the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, what really? I mean, they wrote it up I, good. It was really good. That's what I'm saying. Clearly, really clearly, I've, I, clearly I've, I've done a lot, you know, but he, yeah, he ran down a lot of different accolades and, you know, ran down a lot of philanthropy. He left a, he left a few things out, but you know, you can't get everything, <laughs> you know, but you know, I, I, I'm not, a, I, I put on for my people. That's all, you know, but I, listen, all I, I think say, that's so cool. I, I think you should make people call you doctor. Like, you're yeah, crazy if you don't make yeah. people call you doctor. You think so? Yes, yeah. dude. Dr. I'm going to talk you doctor, Dr. doctor Dr. the God. And now he, doctor now he the can God. do heart surgery better than you now. He said doctor God. I'm dead. <laughs> doctor God. Yo, your yoga pants is wild, son. Like, that's my why, diagnosis. Why you looking at, why you looking at my stuff? I'm chilling. <laughs> your yoga Those pants. are not yoga Yo, pants. What are they? They have no stretch. You sure? That, these, these are these are khakis. <laughs> these cargos, not no. this cargo is like bro, no stretch. That, that cargo, that cargo van need to be bigger, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fit much in that cargo van except for a bed. Oh my god. They do goodness. look small. I'm, I'm, it, like, it, it looks like, like I go shopping by myself. My girl is not with me right now. So until she come with me, you don't know I your size. I don't look up. at I don't look at my sizes. He said, you need to grow up. Listen, really? Even my drawers and stuff like that? Like, I it looks like he took his pants out of the dryer and was like, damn. Listen, and I'm telling you, even he my drawers. He probably took them from a like, homeless person. Oh, he good for that. He good to take some shit right out the wash. Yo, one day, <laughs> listen, one day is me and my dad in the car, right? Wax gets in. My dad goes, <laughs> he's working out. <laughs> he said, boy, you been working out? Why you smell like that, boy? This motherfucker took, bag. He took his pants right out the wash. They weren't no, even dry no. and put them on. No, you know what happened? We, I, I left out. You came. I was going somewhere. And when I came back, I just forgot to put the dryer on. So I just threw my stuff in the, in the out of the dryer. You were smelling like Bombao. <laughs> what the hell? You just put it in. You were smelling like Bombao. That's terrible. What, what is Bombao? Bombao is like mildew. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, wild. Like when you Don't forget to wa dry your clothes and yeah. it's that. Yeah. 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 Limit Saw cleans that, right? What? I Shut the my fuck. They clean Stoto. What is Toto? Vagina. Oh, Wait, so, honey, you, <laughs> so all you did was wash your shit stains and I, out and then you didn't. And I put and it into the dryer. Okay. So you put on wet clothes is what you're saying. No, I just put it in the dryer and I yeah, just left the clothes. house. Lying. It was him. You put on damn soap in the washer? It was inside. The, I don't know how to wash clothes. This is, so okay. you didn't put no soap in the washer either. You just put water. Right. You nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Them pants is tight. I'm one of the guys who really need a wife. I need a girl. I'm not. Nah, we're they, not made to do that. You're either. one of the guys that really need to learn. Thing. Like, exactly. come on. Every we don't want you to fall. We don't want you to learn. That's right. We don't want you to fall. Just, let's do some uh, asking idiots, man, and, and get up out of here. That's <laughs> right. We want. We don't want you to fall, wax. We want you to learn. Well, I'm not yeah, talking about. You don't want to talk about the um, Taylor. Alien. If you don't start the asking idiots. Excuse me. 
Sure. I mean, yeah, sure. Just relax. I'm trying to make y'all sure y'all get all the content. Because people was asking. And they only care about the first part. Okay. <laughs> they, don't <run> <laughs> they only don't care about the first hour. Well, I think we'll be fine this week. All right. So, um, fuck. Qu- I didn't pick these, by the way. But fuck, fuck you care for. Care for. Fuck you care know, for. Who is your funniest comedian friend? Non-comedian. Friend. Non-comedian friend. Who's my fun? Oh, man, I got so many of those. I mean, Wax is one of them. I oh, think, yeah, Wax. I, 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 my, my cousin Kente is hilarious. I think DJ Envy is hilarious just existing. <laughs> Envy just makes me laugh all the time. He's hilarious. Uh, I got a bunch of those. I don't know what I mean. I like, I like fun people. I like people that like to laugh. So it's just like everybody. I mean, I got a lot of yeah. Ashley, AJ, you know what I mean, from We <laughs> Talk Back podcast. Like, yeah. she's funny as fuck. Like, I got a lot of those. I don't know. Who's... Who's your funniest non-comedian friend, Schultz? Shit. I don't know. I have a bunch of funny friends. Wax is pretty goddamn funny. Without even trying. Look at his pants. <laughs> yeah. like, yo, I washed my own. Clothes. I bought my own clothes. I don't know what you want me to do. And he matched it. Match so <laughs> match <with his hat. laughs> right, but you know what? Listen, you, you know, you know what's matter. At least his crazy? ankle's not out. Is that yes, they are. Listen, I mean, he got, got socks, socks to on. cover it. I don't know what the fuck I'm you doing. You got Tim's on in 85 listen, degree weather. Listen, I'm you know, just you know, saying. You know what's crazy? I, I, I'm, I refuse to go in the dressing room because I think it's for ladies. So I just put it next to me and I leave out. What? He said, what? These what the do. fuck? Like, you just I think, are you really going to go inside, like, the, inside the fucking dressing room and put and try some shit on? I think Wax does that to look less suspicious. You know what I mean? Because if you see a big dude like that with them tight ass pants, you don't think he's up to nothing. Yeah, you leave me alone. Oh, that's all. Yeah. I mean, you might flirt with him, but that's no, about it. No, you leave me alone. It's not that tight. I've been doing a lot of deadlifts. Give us another one, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the truth. Eduardo Gonzalez wants to know if Andrew and Charlemagne switch bodies and the only way to switch back is by having sex with each other. How long would you two live as each other before changing back? Get the lube show. <laughs> Let's do I gotta it. Get back to my gotta quick, baby. Say, how long though? I got to get back to Run my life immediately. <laughs> Just don't tell nobody what I look like naked. Let's figure this out. No, but I will say this. I'm, I'm oh definitely dropping God. some M-bombs while we fucking. <laughs> that's, for, that's for sure. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Take that big <laughs> Take boy, that hilarious. big <laughs> you like that white boy? You like that white boy? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, that is so stupid. That's funny as hell. Nah, you got to get back to life, man. That'd just be us. That'd be our secret. <laughs> By the way, we don't tell nobody. Your little secret. My little secret. By the way, nobody would believe that. No. Yeah, they Yo, even if you said no, it, no, can you imagine if somebody walked in on us? <laughs> And that's how we explained it. Like, nah, bro, you don't understand. We're trying to switch back. We're trying to switch back. <laughs> Yo, that would be fun. That's a funny short film, bro. That is a funny fucking short film. Somebody switches our bodies, and the only way to get back in our bodies, we got to fuck each other. And Alex and Wax walk in on us, and we're trying to explain why we're like, fucking. Nah, nah, we got to get Wait, who will be the back. top, who will be the bottom? That's a real question. No, but who, what you think me with me and Alex going to do? Rich after that. <laughs> <laughs> shit, y'all should help. Help us fucking. Hey, bullshit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Don't you want your friend back? Word you gotta up. grab his ass and push. Not push. Oh, you gotta get, <laughs> <laughs> you the out here. <laughs> Y'all the same person at the end of the day. No way. Oh man. <laughs> Give us another one, Taylor Game. Um, well, y'all answer the question. Who's gonna be the top or the bottom with it? Yikes. Nah, see, that wasn't part of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all have to have sex. That's not in there. So what's huh? Next All question, yo. Yes, where are we Why, you, why you start to make this game? Right. You got the answer All you right, wanted, Taylor. I don't want to yeah. say who's going to be the power top. We already said we fucking. What does it matter? You making this game because... for no reason, yo. And I'll tell you who's on top. Whoever got the smaller dick, that's who's on top. <laughs> Word is born. That's what you got to think about. What? That's got how we all decide. Dick at the top. We virgins. <laughs> Yikes. So we virgins <laughs> out here. Like I said, we virgins. <laughs> you know, I'm like, wait, okay. All you right. want me to bust it open? Oh, oh my Jay. god. Um, Imagine that conversation. Jay. <laughs> How big rises. is yours? <laughs> 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 um, I think it's next to each other. Like. 
<laughs> J underscore Rogers underscore Faye Winston. No. Hold on, I gotta ask Wax for Wax. Yes, if please. You, if you and Eden, what's what Eden? Eden, sir. if you and Eden switch bodies, <laughs> he right? never gonna remember Eden. And, and then listen, the only way to get your body back, oh my god, is to fuck <laughs> Eden. <laughs> wax, please though. And you I, fucking listen, I'm gonna have to be Wax I, I, on my. I, I'll be Mexican for the rest of my life. No, bro. you wouldn't. Not, you're a goddamn liar. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, have to be wax for my life. I'll be fucking drinking Coronas. Okay, all, all right. Well, what if Eden don't say nothing? Because by that. the way, if you go around your family saying, "Yo, I'm really wax," they are gonna say, "If you don't get the fuck out of here, they gonna fuck you up." My so, family gonna fuck you so, up. <laughs> no, they not because they gonna see his body. They just gonna but, be like. What's wrong with wax? No, they're gonna fuck him up. They see him coming in trying to say, act like he wax. My family gonna fuck him but up. But you're gonna look, he's you. He's, he's got you, your body, yeah. everything. Eddie's his personality what are you talking in your about? body. I think I could be wax. Huh? Eddie's personality is in your Y'all body. Switch Y'all switch bodies. Switched. So your consciousness is in Eddie's body. Eddie's body is in your consciousness. No. Your consciousness is in Eddie's body. Eddie's consciousness is in your body. There you go. All right. So he's gonna be me, yes. but black. And I'm gonna be him. No, white. he's going to be your body. He's gonna yeah. look like you. Gonna have, never mind. All right, then. So he's gonna be going to my family, looking like looking you. Like like you. Yeah. 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 All right. So if I go and I be acting like him, I hope he cool. I'm chilling. No, you're gonna have his body. <laughs> you're going to be in his body. Stop saying different things. Okay. <laughs> 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 They're not gonna like this nigga. <laughs> you're him. Okay, I'm him. Yes, now you look like him, everything. You're him. Okay. <laughs> yes. So if I go to his family house, how am I going to look? Like, like him. him. And he looks like you. <laughs> but you going to act but like act you. Like, but he act like, I act like him, though. Yes. But I'm really we brain. That shit will be so funny, waxing Eden's body. <sighs> Imagine him trying to fight, thinking he still can fight. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that shit will be hilarious. I, I don't have the build like you do. I get it. Okay, let me ask Eden. Eden, you fucking to get your body back? No, I'm going to have to be wax for the rest of my life. He'd be happy as hell to be wax. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't be mad. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I like it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High water sweaters, high water pants. I'm chilling, you know? <laughs> chilling. Yo. So you ain't fucking to get your body back? <laughs> oh, no. Cap. I don't, I, I don't, yeah, I think that's beyond cap. Mm. No. Now, give us another one. Um. <laughs> all right. So, J underscore Rogers. Underscore Fit wants to know if you could be a professional at anything of what outside of what you do now, what would it be? Mm. I want to do a fighter. I want to fly planes and like shoot people with them. What's that? Air Force? Air Force. Yeah. Fighter pilot. Yeah, fighter pilot. What about you, Schultz? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would have loved to play basketball. That'd be amazing. Mm. Um, I'm trying to think. But yeah, basketball, maybe. I would be a psychiatrist. Yeah. I was going to say, you, you should be like a history teacher or something. Huh. I'd be a psychiatrist. Hmm. That's yeah. a lot of reading. What about you, Ivy? What would you be? If you could be a professional at anything outside of what you do now, what would it be? Oh, shit. Um, I didn't think that question was coming to me. A motherfucking hustler. What, what was that at? That's what I am now. That's right. Fuck? That was a sleep <laughs> dog, right? Sleep dog. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What did I you want be, to be before entertainment? Or you always wanted to be in entertainment? I always wanted to be in entertainment. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wanted I wanted to be J Lo specifically. Mm. I didn't know what the fuck that meant at what the time. What about Selena? Well, Selena's Mexican J Lo's Puerto Rican. I don't know who's who. Well, I discovered J Lo because of the movie Selena, so yeah. there, oh, there you are. Interesting. See. What would you be, Taylor? I mean I'm like Ivy, I wanted to be in entertainment. But if not something creative, like I like Drawing, art, and all that stuff. So okay. drawing. Okay. All right, guys. I think we did it. Boy, you what? don't want to do that one, last What's one. What's the like last that? one? What is it? If you could travel back in time to slap one person in history, who would it be? <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Christopher Christopher Columbus. Ah, oh, come on with this. <laughs> what Christopher Columbus it's, is it? Uh, what about Come on with this question. <laughs> now we got to decide who we care about most. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Who's the real Why sacrifice here? This question. <laughs> I get it. You I know? don't want to slap nobody. My aura is beautiful, man. Oh my I'm all God. about peace. I'm all about peace. And Let, love, let's pause. Man. Let's pause the aura. Yo, what are we doing? Who I, we slapping? I don't want to slap nobody. Oh, we got to slap bro. the person. Yeah. yeah. Tell Wax to slap. do it. Yeah, I got him. Who you want to slap? I who you want to slap? So he'll do it for I really, you. I, there's nobody. I already I pro- know who Wax wants to slap. I can even like. Who? He got a list. One, I know. Say, like, I already know. Like one of them. This shit go. 
Hunter. <laughs> Hunter? Kevin Hunter, whatever his name hey, is. Yeah, wedgie. Yeah, life slapping him. It's a little wedgie. Yeah. I don't care about that wedgie. either. I'm promise you, my aura is beautiful, bro. There's nobody I, I have any issues with as far as physical altercations. I don't even care. God bless them. Because one, one thing I've learned about life, there is nothing you can do that will hurt somebody more than someone with negative karma in regards to the universe. The universe will, Ooh. the universe will, 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 will lay out a plan so beautiful, and the universe will have a script so ready for that person. You couldn't, you know, how they say things. Man, I couldn't even script that. I couldn't have planned that if I tried. Yeah. That's it. That's life. So I just sit back and I just watch. That's all. Yeah. Nah, you want to slap Christopher Columbus though? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want to slap him? What? Uh, he see, he sailed the sea and grabbed all the people, right? <laughs> I think I got the right pips. I don't know. Uh, uh, okay, man. <laughs> Sound, sounds guys, good. What sounds did he do? good. All right, uh, I guys. Think, he, you I don't think, even know what he did. You want to slap? I think we to did be it, continued. Do you hear more? Yeah. We, we get it, though. We get it. We get it. You next, see what I'm saying? Yeah, next week we'll tell you what Christopher Columbus did yeah. for, for, for anybody who doesn't hear know. more on Bullying the Beast. This is all wax. Okay. <laughs> As always, uh, Ivy, any, any, any parting words? Do you want to give out your Twitters and Instagrams? So they sure. Can you can follow you? me. Yeah, slander me. Um, you can follow me on all social media platforms at the Ivy Rivera, T H E I V Y R I V E R A. Stay that's, tuned. That's right. And if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, uh, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast, you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. And as always, we record it at WTF Media. Media. The home of Alex Luther King. <laughs> Latin X. Okay. I like that first part. And Wheezy F might be a black baby. <laughs> okay. All right. Have a good day. <laughs>